I've had it. I've had it. They want to go to war. They want to make little jokes about my dog and her condition. Okay. All right, cool. It's something about it. It's something about it. It's something about it. What it What's good with y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. And I can't believe I'm doing this vlog right now. But it has to be addressed. This guy right here. He's gone too far, man. He's gone way too far. The jokes must stop now. It, it just, it gotta stop. For those who don't know what's going on, me and him, we have a podcast on the In The Clutch page. And we have a group chat with a couple of our friends on that page, well, in the, in the group chat. And we basically come up with topics for the podcast later on that week. We record on Saturdays. That way it can be uploaded for the next week. For whatever reason, this week, he wanted to bring the topic of my dog. Now, for those who don't know my dog, let me show you. Right here. Yo, Blondie, what's good? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Blondie. Come here. Come here. Oh, that's a good girl. My dog is pretty old. Uh, I want to say she's about 12 years old, going on 13. She's old, and she has a cough. And basically, with that cough... Anytime, like, she gets excited or, like, whenever I come home or whatnot, or even if somebody else just comes, like, into the house, like, somebody new, doesn't matter. She will start coughing up a storm. So, with her coughing up a storm, pretty much anytime anyone comes around or if I come around and she just get excited naturally, it's going to bring some jokes for my asshole friends. And... It's not even an all the time thing. Of course, now it's more regular. It's been like that for about a year now. It's not an all the time thing when she's chilling. Like right now, you can't really hear in the video. She's not really coughing or anything. She's just chilling. But like if if I was to start jumping around and really playing with her and stuff, she'd start coughing all over the place. So basically, the running joke is, oh, she's going to be the topic of discussion because I've agreed to bring her on the podcast. I've brought her over there. It's when we were recording before, um, just on like regular reaction videos. But I, I said I was going to bring her on one of the podcasts this week. And of course, my boy, Doug, he, he has to make jokes. I don't really find them that funny. But of course, it's about my dog and my relation to my dog. So, of course, he has to make jokes. And then everyone else in the group chat, they just think it's the most hilarious thing. You got that one person texting in all caps. Oh, my God, I'm really dying. Oh, my God, I'm in tears. Skull emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji. And I'm just like, wow. Yeah, man, you're really dying over here. You got someone else saying, oh, man, put me in a coffee because I'm dead, man. My funeral service will be this uh, Saturday. And I'm like, ah, oh. that was so great. And then you got that one person that don't even really be talking much in the group chat. But he'll come out the woodworks and be like, like, oh, man, your dog needs some some doggy cough syrup and all this other stuff. He, even he, even he makes his little jokes. And it's like, all right, it's cool. They have their own little time to enjoy in the laughter at the expense of my dog. I don't know if y'all can hear her now. She's coughing right now. Like, she's chilling, but it just happens. There's nothing she can do about it. You know what I'm saying? It's not an all the time thing. But that's pretty much what I'm dealing with right now. We can't even get topics out because these motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, my God, your dog is so, your dog is so sick. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so it's so it's so funny. All right, now I'm talking to you, Dub. You, my light skinned brethren, my light skinned friend. You are a family man with three children, beautiful wife, beautiful kids. Got the white picket fence, all that family man. I expect better, but once again, I feel like when it comes to having good friends, they're gonna be assholes. Even when you want them not to be assholes, that's probably the best time they're gonna be assholes. So, since this is what we're doing right now, and this is what's happening right now, Dub, is this really what you wanna do? This is, this is how you wanna end off the year? 
You want to end off the year just talking down about my dog, man? My dog, man? That's cool. That's cool. Got your little jokes, the hee hees and the ha ha's. I'm going to make this very simple for you, dub. Stop it. Cease in the sis. Stop it. Right now. No more. You're not going to do it because you're dub. You're not going to listen. And in the event that you don't stop, which I don't think you will, I think there's going to be more jokes. I think on this podcast, when I bring her up there, because I'm not going to be no pussy about it and not bring my dog up there. I agreed I was going to do it. I'm going to do it. You want to keep the jokes going? You want to just have a, a, a fun old time in the in the chat, in the group chat, and everyone else is going to laugh along? One by one, you all will fall. I will get you all back. I don't know how. I don't know when. I don't know where. One by one, when the opportunity arises, I will make sure there's a camera in my hand, and I will make sure I get you. All of you. You embark on this Let's talk about Blondie journey. You must deal with the consequences. And it starts with you, Dub. I have to make an example out of you. I don't know when and where, but best believe, you may want to be on your P's and Q's. Because when you slip up, and you will, because everyone does, I will be there. This is your last and only warning. So you can make a video response to this, saying, hey, all right, I'm going to lay off. If you don't make a video response saying that and you're saying, hey, if you want, let's go to war. Let's go to war, Dub. Let's do it. This is my lonely warning I will give to you and anyone else that sides with Dub. Hey, man. I don't know what to say. If some stray shots, stray bullet shots hit you, and she was in, you was in the way. And I tried to tell you to move out the way. So everyone that thinks it's funny, they got something to come for you, too. But Dub... Your enemy number one. But other than that, got some more videos coming for you guys later on this week. I will be checking out AEW, NXT. Uh, we got to record later on for the In The Clutch page, but I'll try to make some time to check that out either tonight or tomorrow. And I will be checking out uh, Friday Night Smackdown. The usual content will be back on the channel, but I just had to get this off my chest. But I appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And Dub, I got you, bro. I got you, fam. Me and Blondie, we ain't having it no more. Ain't that right, Blondie? We not having it no more. She chilling right now, but she already let me know. Chill out, my nigga. And you don't want to chill out? That's cool. We'll take matters into our own hands. See you later, dog. <laughs>